da di da da di da da di da di da do. The Gemara Yibama says, "Worry not about tomorrow's trouble, because you do not know what that day may bring forth. Perhaps when tomorrow comes." You won't be in existence any longer. And thus you would have worried for naught, for nothing. This is a very deep concept, especially in our time period when the U.S. economy is going down to the tubes. Even the European economy has problems. You have the threat of Iran, all these different things, and person, you know, it used to be before, you turn on the radio in the morning, you hear Rush Limbaugh, now if people turn on the internet, they see every news, CNN, ABC News, Archeva, it's endless, and they worry and worry, what's gonna, tomorrow gonna bring, we're gonna be at war, even about one's own life, they worry, I'm gonna lose my house. To worry constantly about tomorrow, you start to lose today. To do what you're supposed to be doing today and not be stuck in a worried life and concern. A person has to have faith that Shem will not take out the American economy so badly that Russia becomes the, the next superpower, Iran. Let's be realistic. Hashem will come to the aid when we call to Him, and we're going to call to Him, we are calling to Him. I made this trip to Tiberia, to Rav Chaim Luzato, who's behind me, Rav Akiva, behind him, to pray for the economy, to pray for the world, because I'm worried a little bit about tomorrow. But that worry should be in perspective, that today we should do what we're supposed to be doing, and realize that for tomorrow to be good, we have to be studying Torah today. No matter what, we must be kveitim b'Torah. We must pray and daven to Hashem and do our best to, to follow all the halachos, the commandments that we've been given. And not to have in our mind, which I find myself having, you know, how do you have time to, to learn the Torah? You have to work. You have, to, you have a lot to worry about. What's going to happen tomorrow when they try to take your house and put you in jail? But we can't live like this. We have to think for now, today. And most of our emphasis, 90% of our co-op, our strength, has to be on today. 10% on tomorrow. Maybe less. And going even further, to worry about this very moment. This very moment that I'm standing here I was thinking, I was looking at the beautiful surroundings here at Severi and the lights. I was thinking to myself, how can I be looking at the lights when I need to learn Torah? So I closed it up and I opened the in Yaakov and now I have another shirt to give you. Because I closed it up, because I, I, I worried about now, I worried about now. This is an opportunity that I'm in. I studied the Torah, studied the Torah and I must grab it. I wanted to go out yesterday to, to teach Torah. And instead I, I worried about my pranasa, I worried about tomorrow. I didn't do it, but then I realized, I told my wife afterwards, if I have the strength, if I have the energy that in my heart I want to teach Torah, in my heart I want to be involved in something Jewish, then forget your worries, forget your worries, you've got to drop what you're doing, you have to involve yourself and grab this moment because it doesn't come all the time, you know, we're weak people, if you have the energy to, say, to pray, it's because I'll tell, tell you, if you if you have a feeling to pray, you should drop everything right then and, and, and start praying. You, you, this is an opportunity uh, where Hashem is calling to you. This is why you have this opening. You must grab it. You must utilize it and worry about that moment and, 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 and grab that spark of, uh, of Judaism. And don't, don't throw it off because it's not, it may not come back. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow may not be in existence. About five in the morning here. It's a 
very uh, thinking of a song to sing in these three weeks. But if you like singing Modani, this is a tune that my wife and I wrote and composed on our CD, Kavanos Alev, which you can find online. And I ask you all to think about donating to Hilof Torah so I can continue this work with even a more clear head so I can bring forth important Torah that is not just for our generation but that should be continued to be viewed for many years to come. <laughs> about how you have to grab every every day and not worry. And what happens in the morning? We say, Moda ani lefonecha. The first thoughts that we have for that day affect the entire day thereafter. It lays a concrete, it lays a foundation for that entire day. And yet, we wake up in the morning, some of us are like, we're, we're in bed like this, and our fingers go to the laptop to check the email. <laughs> Even before Modani, before washing the hands. How we start our the morning with our with our thoughts. There's a special name that you're supposed to focus on. Um, you can ask me about it when you first wake up in the morning. You're supposed to picture the name of Hashem, Aleph and Lamed and then Vav and then Hey. And you're supposed to picture. You're supposed to think about Hashem and the Torah. So your first thoughts are so important when you wake up in the morning. Your perspective. Your, you 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 wake up with a joy with a simcha. You know, it's not for anything that Chazal and Rav Yosef Karo, whose your site just was, it's not for anything that he, on the first page, he, he spoke about the importance of waking up like a lion. The beginning of the, of the, the Jewish law is, is telling you that how you start your day, how you start, not only the morning, but the Bialar Rebbe, the first Bialar Rebbe, I believe it's the first or the second, so he said that not only how you start your day in the morning when you wake up, but you know, in, 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 in Judaism, the day really starts when it's sundown, at night. So how you start that is what, from, from Shkion is very, very important time when the, when the sun is going down. You're, you're doing something in, in, involved in Yiddishkeit, involved in, 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 in Simcha and joy, and this affects the entire night, which we know night is filled with, with a lot of klipo, a lot of, a lot of tests from Hashem. To, to do the right thing. And so you have to start it properly on Shkia. And, and it's important. The Davin, Seitz HaChochavim, Davin, Seitz HaChochavim, or Rebbeinu Tam, when it's, when, it's, when, it's, when it's dark, but we're right away, in order that you should be able to, to found that day. I hold very strongly to Davin, not when it's still light out, but to Davin, after three stars, and preferably Rebbeinu Tam, and and to and to try to, to grab that moment and that's the time to, to welcome that, that, that the evening with with prayer with how we how we start things. Modani lifanecho melechai bikayom. This gives us life. Gives us life and success in whatever we're doing. to the Holy Tzadikim, my father, Shemazal ben Yaakov, Shavaliyah Shemayim, I have 
Thank you for joining me.